Last two. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Pixie Dust Stitchers. Yeah. I am Wendy. I'm Stephanie. And uh, we are a, a week later than we normally yeah. are. Uh, just timing wise, things didn't work out. We were very busy last week. Everybody. Life happens. Yeah. Yeah. So we're coming to you a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get into all kinds of goodness. Yeah. And I'm going to say it and hopefully not screw up. It is Thursday, <laughs> June 27th, and yeah. we are at Acorns and Threads. See, we need, I nailed it. need me to make him, her do it because I screwed up all the time. I either screw up where we're at or the date. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> anyway. Not that I won't rub off on her and have her Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure my mouth will get all crazy and I'll say dumb things. But not, not that that was dumb. I'm just <laughs> no, it is. It's just like, wow. Hey, at least we can entertain you guys. <laughs> Yeah. And I just, actually, can I just say real fast? Again, thank you guys. Thank you yes. for watching us. We appreciate you mm -hmm. so much, yeah. and I have, um, I just feel like I've made such neat mm -hmm. stitchy friends out yeah. of this, mm -hmm. and you know, I don't know all of you, and there are some people through different groups and things that right. I have met, um, and I've had personal conversations with you, and I just feel like we're mm -hmm. buddies, and yeah. I wish we could all get together and stitch, and I just, yeah. I just love you guys. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get into real quick so we can kind of get out of the way and get to our more stitching stuff is what's going on in our lives. <laughs> been an extra week worth of stuff maybe. Um, I've been doing a lot of yard work. <laughs> my, I think I might have mentioned this before, my backyard looks like a bomb went off in it because <laughs> I destroyed everything because there's a whole bunch of stuff that needed to take, be taken out. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's awful. It's really bad. So I am slowly, this is the year I'm going to be focusing on the yard. I still have a little bit of house stuff, outside mm -hmm. house stuff to do, but mm -hmm. the yard is it. Nice. I'm going to work on that yard this year. Um, part of it was I got a load of, a uh, load, I mean a pickup truck load, not like a dump truck load, a bark dust. Yeah, and put that out. Um, I ended up being out in the sun a little too long, and um, I got a little red. It was a little sore the first day or two, but uh, I don't think I've peeled, so it just turned into nice. a tan, I think, nice. for the most part. Nice. Um, I also cut down a tree. <laughs> Ooh, all by yourself? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. I the only reason I had help is because um, this tree, it was about between 20, 25 feet tall. It's a maple. It was slightly leaning, growing towards our house. Oh, you don't want it that. It was about 10 feet away from the house, so it wasn't mm -hmm. like smack dag up against it, but I also didn't want it to fall in the house. Yeah, and so, a windstorm or something? Well, while I was cutting it down, too. Oh, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, so, gotcha. I got my son out there and we put a rope around, so I cut it in half and then cut the bottom part down. Mm -hmm. um, I got a rope around the top part of it and just kind of had him pull a little with tension so that it would fall towards the yard instead of the house. Sure. So I did that. That's a really the, and, and thankfully he was nice enough, I made it part of his daily chore that day, <laughs> that as I was cutting the limbs off and cutting them down to size to put it in the truck mm -hmm. so it could be taken to the yard debris. Nice. So, so yeah, very busy. Um, She's I've been a working, lumber deal. Yeah, I, I like being outside <laughs> and getting those things done. I don't like cutting trees down just because it's, you know, for fun. It's not, that's not my thing. Um, but it really did need to go. Sure. And yeah. um, I'm hopefully done cutting things down. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't too many things left in our yard to cut down anymore because yeah. it's all gone. That's funny. Um, I've also been working on a lot of the bags. If you watched mm. any of the videos, you know, I did a bag sale one uh, about a week ago, um, sold some bags. I still have some left and I'm making more. Um, so you can always contact me and see if I happen to have um, that one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to make grime oh, guards. Nice. So I have a couple of, um, Right now, this is, yeah, I have a couple of different colors right here that I'm just showing, and I'm making them in different sizes, so um, they can go on something as small as like an 8x8 eight eight mm -hmm. Q-snap. Um, I can make them really as big as somebody wanted to. Some, sometimes I just may need that I have to sew a couple of strips of fabric together, because, you know, the width, this fabric is only so wide. Sure. <laughs> um, I... Also did some decluttering of my house. There is a, you know, kind of where you just throw some boxes of stuff and you don't really want to mess with them. And yeah. finally, you just say, I've had enough. And yeah. I did do that. So 
with that, I have also, you know, I got rid of some stuff, but I'm also going to probably, hopefully, put some stuff up as like a D stash. Nice. Because some of it I was planning to get rid of anyway, and sure. I just haven't kind of gotten around to it since we've moved, and it's been a few years now, and now I need to do something. So hopefully, I'll figure that out and get that up, and yeah, I'm just trying to decide where to do the de-stash, because yeah. there's so many different places. Some people do it on Facebook, some people mm -hmm. do it on Instagram, some mm -hmm. people do it on Etsy, it's... I just, I got to decide where yeah. I'm going to do it at. I know. I keep best. thinking about it, too. I, I, I am a chart hoarder, as uh, yeah. my favorite Linda Jo likes to call me. She's, <laughs> she wrote me yesterday, and she's like, dear chart hoarder, do you have this? And I died laughing. Yes, I am a chart hoarder. Yes. It is, it's what I do. I love charts. Yeah. I love them. I love owning them. It's like, I love it. Yeah. But there are, there are some charts that mm -hmm. I've gone through now, and I'm like, even if I never stitch that, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just not no, my aesthetic thing at it. all. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, kind of probably could get rid, of, get rid of a few things. things. Yeah. 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 Some of the, the stuff I have is cross stitch related, mm -hmm. um, but some of it is quilting. Oh. I mm -hmm. did a lot of quilting when I lived out in Minnesota, and I've just kind of gotten away from it. Um, so. And plus, I've made some of those patterns, so I don't need those anymore, sure. just like you would a, a cross-stitch pattern. Sure. Um, sure. So it's a matter of getting to what I'm going to do for the D-stash. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I think that's coming up immediately for me is in a couple of days we're going camping. Yes. So I'm a you little busy camping. trying to get that prepared and planned. Yeah, it's and, a lot to do. You, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not so bad if you do it all the time. Like, we do it once a year at least. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have all the stuff for camping, and mm -hmm. it's pretty much all in one spot in our shed. So mm -hmm. it's a matter of just pulling it out, making sure everything's there and everything's mm -hmm. okay. And um, mainly the meals. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah. yeah. That's really yeah. about the biggest hurdle of mm -hmm. planning for camping is what are you going to sure, eat? Sure. What are you going to do? And mm -hmm. with my, son, or my, my husband, who is doing more of the keto so mm -hmm. he doesn't eat carbs. There's a really hard to cook at home, and at camping, it's going to be even worse. Just give him some hot dogs. He, well, he's going to get a hot dog one of the meals, definitely, and then we're probably going to go shopping um, the day before, and I'm going to say, you need to buy all your snacks because mm -hmm. I may not have enough in that meal that's going to fill you up because mm -hmm. part of it's going to be stuff you're not going to want to eat. Sure, sure. So he kind of has to fend for himself a little bit because sure. there's only so much I can do yeah. <laughs> or want to do, really. Sure, sure. sure. Um, so, yeah. Um, one of the things Easy. I wanted to ask you uh, was um, did you did you finish your um, – that shop hop, that uh, that, uh -huh. that that fabric yeah. thing that you're doing. Did you get your stamps? I got them all, awesome. and for a, about a day or maybe part of a day, I thought I lost my sheet oh. with them completely oh, that filled been so sad. up. I yeah. looked everywhere in my house. I asked my son, I'm "Like, if you see this bright green paper, I need it." Yeah. And I thought maybe it's still in the car. Mm -hmm. And I went out, and in the passenger side, I opened the door, and it had fallen in the little pocket in the door. <sighs> Well, at least it didn't fall out of the car. So oh, I yeah. still had it, so I got to be able to turn nice. it in. Very fun. And... I was thinking about that and wondering. I was like, oh, I wonder how she did with that. I haven't heard anything to mm -hmm. know if um, they've drawn my name mm -hmm. for any of the prizes, but that's okay. It didn't matter. Yeah. It, it was interesting Just to be able to get around and yeah. know where shops yeah, are and fun. which ones that's I want to awesome. go back to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my life, honestly, you guys, three weeks have gone by. Couldn't yeah, tell you. Yeah. I Three weeks ago, when we, our last video, we were here for First Thursday. We did First Thursday. It was awesome, as mm -hmm. always. It is the joy and highlight of my month every yeah. month. Um, and since then, I've been busy stitching and doing stuff, but mm -hmm. I, I, I literally am like, what day is it? We learned it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. I don't know. I've been living. Yeah. I... I don't mind having those times sometimes. I kind of wish my life did slow down because every once in a while, about every other day, I sit there and think, oh, you, you kind of get overwhelmed thinking about sure. everything that yeah. I need to do, yeah. especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, you're just like, the summer is just flying by. Oh, my gosh, I'm never going to get it all done. Yeah. And, and I just have to step back and it'll be okay. Yeah. It'll be good. I also have to remember that a lot of times I can work into um, the beginning of fall mm -hmm. because it's dry and still warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. that... That helps a lot because June, a lot of times, is too wet to do some of the stuff I need to do yeah, outside. Yeah. So I just kind of put myself in check and make sure that I'm not 
oh, overwhelming myself <laughs> thinking that, oh dear. Yeah, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, so something else I kind of thought I'd ask everybody is, what are you doing for 4th of July? Oh, me? Everybody. What's everybody doing? Oh, yeah, doing? what are you guys doing 4th of July? It's coming up. I know what I'm it's doing. It's going to be, you know, here in about a week. I'm going to be here. That's right. Should we... <laughs> She's trying to peek in, so let's just... <laughs> there she is! <laughs> she needs you! <laughs> trying to go around. Yes. I know. I, all my stuff's in the way. I'm sorry. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Janine. Yeah, aren't you going to come to Acorns and Threads? We're doing stitching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stitching on the patio. Can stitching inside. Stitch inside. Stitching. Yeah. I'm going to stitch inside. Okay. I like air conditioning. Okay. <laughs> Unless it's, sorry, y'all. That's okay. It's, okay. Yeah, it's first Thursday, inside. though. First Thursday, stitches inside. Yes, exactly. So, I'm exactly. sorry. It's you come on Thursday Saturday to this. stitch outside. Yeah, and so it's a special day. Yeah. Where the shop is yeah. open, so there's going to be patio two. stitching. Ten so, to two. So yeah, ten mm -hmm. to two. Ten to mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, just so, so you then know. you have time to go to your picnics or barbecues. Yeah, you won't miss any of that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Right. Nice. Yeah. We love it. What do you That's have? Nice. Want to see what I'm working on? Yes. yes. I'm almost done. <gasps> oh. Uh, what is that? What count? Is that forty? Forty. Oh, looks nice. Forty counts. Beautiful. Yeah, get her up there. Do you want help? There you go. Yes. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Very I'm pretty. almost done. So do you have the Bingley's, pattern? Is that Miss Bingley's library? It is Miss Bingley's library. So you got some wording down at the bottom. Maybe. Is that pretty much it. Oh, you're oh, not you sure. Might not do it. I love, I love changing patterns. So I'm terrible. Sorry, Paulette. We love you, and you're a genius. We do. We love Paulette. Paulette's I love awesome. Paulette. I love all of this stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to do the words. Yeah. I might. Words. That's okay. I might, because mm -hmm. I'm almost, look, I'm almost done. It's yeah. beautiful. I just have the rest of the house to do. So I have to fiz fix Miss Bingley's hair. I kind of screwed up oh, on her hair. What happened? One darn stitch is out of the way, and I can't put her uh, hair ribbon in. Uh, and it bugs me. And someone else said, oh, look, she's wearing a hat. <laughs> no. You know, it's a dye lot thing, so oh, just how yeah. it did, and now it bothers me, so I think I'm going to have to change. I can understand that. Miss Bingley mm -hmm. needs a hair bun and a ribbon. But I might get all ambitious and do the words too, because it is nice. really nice. I love it. Yeah. But okay. I'm pretty happy that I might finish something. Yay. She's finished a few things. Yeah, no. She just no. stays too busy. I just start things and then move on and start things yeah. and move on. Upper left on. hand corner. Exactly. I'll have to show you, exactly. if you don't see it, the Esther's Wave that I've, oh, I'm almost done. Are you almost done? Oh, I plus. need to get more into that. I know. I made some progress on it. I promised okay. Tasha that I would make some progress on it. And what I did is I found it. <laughs> I figured out some progress right there. But... Then finding it is the I first know, step. Finding yes. it, and it wasn't that hard, but I found it. Okay. And now what I have to, I did a little bit of cross-stitching on it mm -hmm. because Excellent. I need to focus, and by the time I found it, I didn't have time to work on it. So sure. yeah. I need yeah. to do a little bit. Step I'm by step. playing in my stash right now, sorting and coordinating and putting stuff together, and holy cow, do I have a lot of stuff. Holy yeah. cow. That I've started. I'm trying to find things. Look, I'm almost done on that. Oh, look, I'm almost done on a couple of things. Mm -hmm. I should finish those. Yes. Yeah. And then all the other ones that I've kitted up that I haven't started. I de-kitted a few things. Okay. Oh. And then Still. the rest of it. Oh, my word. Yeah. Okay. I, my <laughs> Hello, my name is Janine, and I'm a stitchaholic. You're in good company. I say that in Love a good it. way, though. Yes. It's good stuff. <laughs> In yes. good company. This is yes. the best in kind of a holic you can be. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Stitchaholic. The hangover. There is no hangover. No, none, none whatsoever. So I mean, sometimes okay. your wallet hurts a tiny little bit, but yeah. or, or yes. your arm hurts. That is true. Yeah. Every once in a while, the arm and the stitching. shoulder. Mm -hmm. Stitching. Stitching yeah. injuries. That's never a good thing. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. Good. Good. And I see okay. you're showing the. Yes, because yeah, she's, she's, should you talk about? Oh, you haven't shown it yet. No. Oh, no. You're gonna talk about dye lots. Oh, we can. Yeah. yeah. Why don't yeah, you we'll just go ahead that. and, yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, we can yeah. switch or, this around. Or so you can share it. So it's, you're good. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the things Miss Stephanie has bought because oh, she wanted to, bought, I, I should say bought. I love, good grief. I love to buy stuff and I love Paulette. Is that oh. she, the uh, little Plum Street stamp, Sampler Summer Delivery. <clears throat> I had showed on. you that last time because I had gotten it and she was very mad because I got it before her. Wasn't mad. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, just say I it. was just, just irritated. <laughs> just a little jealous. So we weren't able to show you a stitched model that Janine had here at the store, but we do have it now. So and, here, and this was this is Paulette's model. This is Paulette's model. Yeah. So it's all beautiful, wonderful. Um, it's so amazing. there was a slight difference on the sheep that got done. So the color it calls for is a little darker. It's the week's, oh my goodness, how do you say that? Pamlico. No. Oh, terrapin. 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 Okay. So it's much more of a darker color. And so this, yeah, this dye lot is, I mean, the sheep is greeny gray, but, but like not, 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 yeah, like the dye that. lot that she had done mm -hmm. is much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what color she used? Dark color. That terrible. Oh, she did use yeah, but this it was a different there. dye lot. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought you so, said you got so. No, this but, this okay. dye lot is uh, a little darker. It's, so beware it's green. Mm -hmm. that you might get a dye lot that's pretty dark and mm -hmm. that it's okay to change it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is. I'm a big fan. Remember the, there's no rules. <laughs> no rules. No and rules. And changing is fun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be tricky, though. Yes. You can run you into it, problems. And, and then, get the and wrong then, color combination in it. Yeah. Don't look good. <laughs> yeah. That's why friends around are very helpful because they'll give you advice. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Well, unfortunately, with the oh, <laughs> thanks, Janine. I, I'm going to miss next Thursday. Uh, oh, because um, you're camping? No, oh. because for Fourth of July, our church always does this enormous picnic oh, that fun. lasts all day. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how early people, you, they used to be there was like a softball game that they would play before lunch. Mm -hmm. So people would get there like at nine in the morning. And just spend like the whole day there? Literally people are there till four mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then people might do stuff, their own things, whether they do little firework things at home or they go to fireworks. I don't think too many people did that. It's just, it's not fun to go to fireworks when you have to deal with traffic. Yeah. You literally get there, you, you have to get there early enough to find a good spot, and then you have to sit and wait. I mean, it takes like half hour, an hour just to get out of your parking area because mm -hmm. traffic jams. So sure. It's not yeah. a whole lot of fun for yeah. me. I'd prefer to just go to Disney. <laughs> not only do they do fireworks rides, there. but you're in a great, happy place. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Even if you have to sit and wait. Yeah, that's true. You can sit and stare at the castle. That's true. That's true. Um, so I'm going to have fun, but it just, it won't be here. So... Um, I'll be here for her. Yeah. Um, last time I had read, I had talked about, I, we had got our son a book <clears> called <throat> Grit for, um, what is it, Boys and Young Men. And it had a lot of wonderful, wonderful, um, encouraging things in it. Um, so I had read a couple of those last time. I will read a couple more. Um, just because it, you know, as it says, it inspires and it encourages and lifts people up sometimes, maybe make them a little bit more courageous to do certain things that they were either thinking about or thought that they just wouldn't be able to do. Mm -hmm. So well, the first one is, I want to inspire people. I want someone to look at me and say, because of you, I didn't give up. Be that person. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, I think I was listening to the radio and so they said something about um, most of the time our plans fail because we're too scared to try. Mm. Not because we did it and failed. It's yeah. because we're too scared to try. That's very true. And so yeah. don't don't let that fear get in your way of doing things. Always afraid of failure. Mm -hmm. yeah. need to, and I think a lot of people have that fear. Mm -hmm. You just have to suppress it enough to get over and do it. Mm -hmm. So the, Another one is kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Remember these three things whenever you feel scared or overwhelmed. They are all things you need to possess and can use whenever you choose to. So kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Um, so yeah, hopefully those are some words that can encourage you and get you out there doing things. Maybe that you're a little not as comfortable doing, but would be a good thing anyway. Yeah. Um, all right. What do you have to share with us, Stephanie? Well, I have been a busy girl. Busy for me with stitching and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> One of the things, I'm in a group called Sheep Loving Stitchers. Mm -hmm. And we're a small group. Um, they like us to be really active. We are part of different exchanges and sales. And one of the things is uh, we are doing a card exchange, just card. Oh, nice. <clears throat> and it had to be sheep themed. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and show what I did because it's already been sent to my person and they should be getting it tomorrow. And usually this isn't it uploaded. It takes a day or two for yeah, us to get it. Yeah, and so I should be okay. And what mm -hmm. I did is I made a photocopy mm -hmm. and or, or I took a photo of it. It's, it's big. It's bigger than it was. And what I did, I actually decided to stitch a card because yeah. I wanted it to be something yeah. interesting and unique. And mm -hmm. I haven't made a card in a really long time, which I was really insecure about after I was done. I was like sending like, does this look good? Anyway, but what I, I decided to try perforated for the paper for the first time. Oh. So here's something I learned. I hate perforated paper. Oh dear. <laughs> Never going to use it again. But it was, it was, it was a good uh, thing to experiment oh, with. Oh yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I, screw, I found the cutest little pattern. It was like a little freebie, little sheep. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was trying to cut out and, and it was a weird, um, design. Anyway. Uh, I cut it out, screwed it up, had to really cut it out, and then I was like, okay, now I, I, what my plan for the card was totally had to change. Yeah. So I had to do a cutout of paper and kind of Center block it in. in. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is the, that's the little sheep, but that, I don't know if you can see yes. that, okay, but that is, that is, um, the card. So the card is actually just this part. And it's got flower and it's got pearls yes. and some lace. And there's my little sheepy. It's very um, cute. And the sheep is. He is really. Actually, it's a girl. She's a girl. She deserves yeah. to be a girl. She's cute. But anyway, um, I was really happy. And I like aside from, again, the fact that perforated paper, not my friend. And I cutting out perforated paper didn't work well for me. It's a little tricky. You do have to be careful because you yeah. don't want to snip into your stitched area. Yeah. And if it's got little nooks that you have to kind of go into, yeah. that makes it a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Um, I don't mind. I like stitching on perforated paper mm -hmm. um, just because it's a nice stiff medium mm -hmm. to hold on to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't flop around like material. No, that well. is nice. Well, and it was, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be three strands of floss and yeah. I did two uh, I don't like three. I don't even like two. Two and still I just, works. <clears throat> it just two works fine. I just and it's a lot of white and a lot. Oh, if you're like a lot of the people out there, white isn't your favorite to stitch with because it's just weird. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was it was a fun experiment. So um, so I did that. So that was one thing. So I had a stitch and a finish, and yeah. that was a full on finish. I don't care if it's a card. That is a finish. It is a finish. So I did that. Yeah. So, okay, so now here's my other stuff. I have been, I mean, you guys, these might be small projects, but I have been, I have been working. That's for you. That's this a lot. Is, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys all remember Spotted Pig's Pig Keep. I'm going to try and go a little bit slower because oh, someone commented, to don't show, show, show them so fast. Yeah, show it, <laughs> keep them up longer. We're also trying to, like, get through the video, too. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so this is the one that I decided to make some changes on, mm -hmm. and I finished. And, sorry, it's wrinkly, but this is the finish. Very cute. And so I had taken the this side and moved it over here, and um, took yeah. out the big plant. Took out the big plant, and, and it I looks just, adorable. I love it. I am so happy with it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so cute. So mm -hmm. I'm super happy with it. So that was fun. So I finished that. Yep. And uh, here's another project I was working on. I'm, I love these. Um, I only have two of them, but I love mm. this. So this is Bent Creek, and it's Betty Boo. I mean, come on. I it's might have to so, borrow that. It's so cute. <laughs> And this was a kit. And oh. so this is 25 count. Again, not my favorite. I could have changed it, I know, but I decided to. Mm -hmm. Called for three strands. I did two yeah. because I couldn't I couldn't handle it. But yeah, um, I, I would actually even redo this on like 40 count and one strand. But I loved this so much. And um, so the um, I think the oh bat, he's gosh. supposed to have. He has a mask um, on. I know, I know. The little sheep Look has a mask. mask. I know. I mean, is that not the cutest? <laughs> well, and the, the little um, bat is supposed to have, I think, French knots for eyes. I don't do that. And I actually oh. thought it'd be really cute. So I, I did one over one in that one section. And I did little, um, I gave him little orange eyes. But I actually thought that yeah. was really cute. So anyway, I, 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 I so cute. Love it yes. so much. So that was that. So two finishes. Yes. Three, technically with a card. And here we go. Okay. In that group I'm in, we're doing a sow. <clears throat> we're only supposed mm -hmm. to stitch on the weekends. But uh, I wanted to get done, and I wanted to have something to show, and I was close to being done, so I actually it's finished so this. It's hard to like, put things down that you want. It is, and I just wanted to. I also, I wanted to complete something, so yeah. I could just move on to the next. Mm -hmm. So this is Plum Street Samplers Woolamina, and I don't know if I had mentioned, but mentioned it, but I was going to do my own conversion, and I decided to do a purpley conversion, mm -hmm. and I, I actually love it, and I added in right. some bright pink, and I wasn't sure. 
And I had to make a few chart changes because of the way. But anyway, there it is, gang. I don't know if it needs something behind it to... But there it is in all its glory. Very cute. And I'm actually really, really happy. I, I think it turned out really well. And I... I love the purple. I think it turned out great. So good yeah. because there was quite the debate about which purple color. Well, and it was to hard use. trying to find yeah. coordinating purples that also stood apart. Yeah, y y it was because they needed to. I'll show you again. I mean, it needed to, you know, stand on its own. Mm -hmm. So I had to do a couple different changes to these. And this one up here, I totally and completely recharted that because the way it was, and with the colors, didn't look good at all. But you can see I have that bright pop. And this is supposed to be a B. And I love bees, but I decided to bring in more of the pink, so I, I, I did another one over one little heart there, yeah. just to tie it all in. But yeah, I awesome. love it. So, yes. <laughs> so, and I technically have a whip, but I don't think I. I think I'm gonna have to fix it because I'm doing the cutest little. Oh, I don't have. Anyway, it's the um, Fourth of July. Never mind, can't show it to you. Tiny modernist. Um, but the white isn't showing up. The sheep color isn't showing up at all. So I think I'm going to have to scrap it and start over. So. All righty. I have some whips. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot, as usual, because I don't usually work on too many things at one time. Sure. Um, as I was had mentioned when Janine was sitting here, I have done, and I showed a on Instagram, I showed a little video of what I've done so far. So you might have seen this already. I don't mm -hmm. know. It is the Esther's Wave. And as you remember, I am um, not doing the rainbow look to it. I'm doing the greens and the blues. Mm -hmm. And because I finished a row and I needed to move it on my Q-snap, I left it off the Q-snap so we could see it nice. before I stuck it back on there. Because I've got two more bands to do, two more rows. So... Here it is in all its glory, and I will zoom up so you can see. So, lots of different specialty stitches. Lots and lots. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. So, lots of stuff going on there. Um, yeah, so hopefully... I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me because it just it does take a while before I get a band done. It just it just does. Even the the thin little in between ones mm -hmm. take take a little while. Yeah. Um. So there's that one. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Nice. Um. I am also working. I started something new because I think I needed to take something small with me somewhere. Oh, I know what it was. Um, and I didn't have anything small started yet, Hello. or going, I didn't have a whip yet, so I picked something out of my stash, and I pulled out this, Cute. Bunnies on the Beach, I've had this for a while, love it, I've wanted to start it forever. Um, I did it on the polka dot oh, that's cute. material. Like that. They had a sample of both, and I really like the polka dots. Oh, that's really cute, I like that. So there's what I've done so far, probably about halfway through with it. Nice. It's been going pretty quickly. Thank so you. I love it. They're so adorable. I really like it on that polka dotty. So really adorable. Cute. Very cute. Um, so the reason I had pulled that out is because I went last Saturday to Starlight Citrus for yeah, anniversary. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that. They had, yeah, yeah. you went. Yeah. yeah. So I needed something small because <clears throat> they don't have a lot of space and I don't want to take anything big. It just sure. doesn't lend itself mm -hmm. for that. Sure. Um, so I do have a finish. So I had shown this before that I've been working on, the little yellow bird out on a limb. Mm -hmm. He's all done. Ah, oh, so cute. Lots of, it's hard to tell, but there are beads in there. The beads, the brown beads in the wings and the tail feather, there's beads over here, down here. There's some over here in the yellows. That is here. Some stiff Ada, damn. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is stiff. just like, whoa. Yeah, it just kind of stands up there almost <laughs> on its own. So I That's am so going cute. to be getting the bluebird, yeah. and then I'll have two to put together. So you just together. want two, though? You don't want all the colors? Just no, the I don't really care for the orange, hmm. and the aqua is so similar to the blue. The blue. And um, with this, the bird is looking behind, and in the blue one, he's looking forward. Oh, that's, so it gives a little a, bit of a different contrast. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good... Yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm I'm going to go with those two nice. as options. Um, so yeah, the um, Starlight Citrus was a lot of fun. Nice. Um, Had you ever been? 
I have been to one Saturday stitching. Mm -hmm. It just seems like Saturdays get filled up and I end up doing stuff so I rarely go down there for their little Saturday stitch thing but mm -hmm. with the anniversary it was it was nice it was very fun uh, Michelle and Emmy were there as well as some other people that um, I think they come fairly often to sure. the store to stitch I just didn't know who they were um, so yeah it was very nice and the way they rearranged the store nice That's cool. it helps the flow mm -hmm. a lot lot, lot cool. better I have so. to go down there I, I still I still haven't been down there since it was um, friendship crosses. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. so, so yeah, if you're anywhere near the area or you just want to take a nice drive out into the valley, go down to Corvallis. Corvallis. I love the drive. It takes me about an hour to get down there and mm -hmm. it's just, it's all a valley drive and mm -hmm. you know, you got the nice gentle rolling hills and the mountains kind of are far off in the background. It's just, it's peaceful. Yeah. I really like it. I, parking's hard though. I don't enjoy the parking. The parking is bad, especially on Saturday because yeah. in the summer they do Saturday market and it makes and it's like a block or something yeah, from their store. I mean, you can have to walk a really long way. Really, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's an, and it's just driving because of where you're having to drive right past it. Basically, um, you're trying not to hit anybody because lots of people mm -hmm. are trying to cross streets. So you could just sit at a stop sign forever, mm -hmm. depending on which way you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, but I still I still like getting down there I once in a while. Oh, yeah. All right. What purchases have you made? You said I mean, a lot. I do. I have so much haul. <laughs> and some, I mean, it's been three weeks, and I have some that has been on order and yeah. came in. I have some that is um, from the stash and loading places, and I have some random things. Okay, so so one of the things that I have is, I think Marion was talking about, mm -hmm. oh, by the way, Marion is at StitchCon. Yes, I hope yes. she has a great time. And if any of you were lucky enough to meet her, awesome. We love mm -hmm. her. She's a sweetheart. <clears throat> I think she was talking about this, but I ended mm -hmm. up finding um, uh, Hobby Lobby was having, uh, you know, they always have 50% off in different areas, and they had some linens at springtime, and and I they're linen, and I thought, you know what, it was half off, I might as well see if I can, I don't know what the stitch count would be, but I thought I'd give it a try, but they're kind of cute, but I, it's a napkin, and it's actually mm -hmm. got a little decoration on it, but it's a really pretty color. Um, and I got this really pretty corally peachy. peachy. Yeah. That is showing up more pink, but it's actually quite more um, a little more orange, salmon color. Yeah. yeah, and it's got these, this cute little border that you could maybe like take off and use somewhere else. Um, and then the same that's more like a light lavender. This does not do it justice. It's like a light lavender, lavender gray kind of. Um, and then this really pretty gray with this really neat border. Um, and then this kind of brown taupe. Yeah. Um, but I thought that might be fun to see if I can stitch on it. I mean, yeah. it's linen. It's got holes. <laughs> that's, that's nice how we just decide on something. It has holes. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, you know, there's lots of products that can be stitched. So I thought, heck, let's give it a try. So I got that. Yeah. So then I also had some of my Alforest kits that came in. Yes. So I have this one. I hadn't shared this one yet. This is um, Fox Forest, I guess. Um, and it's um, foxes and mushrooms. I'm thinking those might be chanterelles, uh, but it um, comes with, of course, the beautiful flosses, mm -hmm. and of course the cute little card, and this kind of very interesting greeny, mm -hmm. fab, um, and then of course the cute little needle winders that always come with it. It's a little mushroom, super cute. So I got that, love it. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with our forest. And I just, I love eating the boxes. It's like the coolest little, I treat. love it. Yeah. Yes. Now this one's super fun. This one is the first one that I actually got directly from our forest. Mm -hmm. And it, it is Atlantis. Um, but Atlantis has three parts and you can buy them individually or buy them as the whole kit. And I okay. got the whole thing. Yeah. So this is all three parts of Atlantis and it is beautiful. And this is so cool. And it was such a great price for what it is. You get all three of the needle minders. Mm -hmm. There's a um, jellyfish, a seahorse, and an octopus. It is so cute. And of course, the um, beautiful floss yeah. and the cute little um, stamped cards. They have the actual symbols on it. Yes. And then this fabric, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's like a gray, blue, slaty mm -hmm. kind of. It is beautiful. Almost and it's, like what I use for ho uh, the Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very much so. And yeah. it's going to be long enough to do all three. And I just love it. So I bought the you know, miracle, or I heard it called different things, monster whale, miracle whale, the fox forest, and now Atlantis, but I think Atlantis is, is 
my favorite. So I got that. And then um, I have, I probably won't share everything just because. And this is, I actually meant to share this last time and I kept forgetting. This is, if you guys know, not every shop has this, but the Needles Dance. It's that collaboration with um, Summerhouse Stitchworks Ink Circles and Hands-On Design. And um, Acorns and Threads actually um, is one of the shops that has it. And they had it as a kit. And um, I was able to get the, um, it came with a needle, the floss, um, and and then I had to, and the, the chart, fabric. and then buy the fabric. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it came with a, um, a needle well, minder. Needle if you bought the minder. kit, you got a... Um, Anyway, uh, you can't really see it, but there's a little matching needle minder in there. Really cool. Um, <laughs> do you want me to do this? This is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just show a few highlights. So we already showed the Plum Street. I ended up getting the somersault boxes also because mm -hmm. I love those. Um, and then when we were in here, this is so silly. Um, there's this, I don't, I don't even know who this is, but I'm now in like, eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's so cute. I had ordered this one because I, I do love uh, the Inn at Fox River Mill, Little House Needleworks. I had seen someone on Instagram have it, and I love that. Nice. Um, I got Summer at Cherry Hill mm. with a needle and thread. Love that one. This, some of these are stash unloading. I love this. Okay, you guys know I love my pin keeps from Stacey Nash. So it's Thistles and Spells pin keep. Super cute. Um, I'll skip last. Oh, I did get Spell of the Moon. Blackboard designs. Nice. I'm really trying to collect blackboard designs now. And of course, as you know, a lot of them are out of print and that makes it really sad and really hard. Yeah. Um, I'm now, now that Lizzie Kate has gone out of, but they're, you know, you can get them through one, two, three. Um, <laughs> I decided I want to get the um, smalls. So this is summer smalls and I want to get the rest of them. I know this is, was a unicorn for some people, but it became readily available. Uh, they reprinted it, but I actually got on the cardstock. Santa Rides. Love that. Yeah, very cute. Uh, and then, um, uh, actually, Bendy and um, Audrey, yeah. they did a D-Stash sale at Starlight Citry. It was a live yeah, Instagram, yeah. and I watched that, and I ended up claiming a couple charts. And I had never seen this. It's an old Plum Street called Heaven Gave Rain. It says, the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. I had never seen it, but I love Plum Street, so I thought that would be a cool one to have. And then this one, uh, Audrey is like, if somebody doesn't buy it, I'm going to get it. And then mm -hmm. when I decide to get it, she's like, oh, I know you. I can borrow it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Halloween in the Woods, Something Wicked This Way Comes. And it's uh, Twin Peaks. And I love Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. That one's really, really cute. Okay. I got in this one, D-Stash. This one's really cute. Garden of Eerie instead of the Garden of E, Garden of Eerie. Uh, and it's um, Frankenstein. <laughs> it's really cute. Uh, uh, and then I love this one. This is a D-Stash, but... I'd never seen it, and I love sheep. Of course, sheep. Of course, the sheep. I love it. It's called Loving Free. It's a design by Kathy Jean for Victoria Sampler. But, I mean, look at those. It is so precious. And then, had I shown this, that I had gotten that? I can't remember. I don't know. Twin, uh, Tracking the Seasons by Twin Peaks. I had bought one of the last times I was here. Really, really cool. And then I also had ordered a Reflet de Soie. This took, this, I ordered this months and months mm -hmm. ago when I finally came in, but it's very cool. It's uh, Louisa Barney, 1892. I just loved that, um, that cow down there yeah. and that border. Very pretty. Um, yeah, I love that. And then I've got some really cool, I found this really neat, um, it's called Stitches Through the Years, and I can't, re well, a couple of them, this is, it's um, Russian, uh, but she, uh, you can do it, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Download. Download. Oh. Anyway, Country Life is so pretty. Did I show these? I don't think I did. I don't think so. Um, I bought all of them. It was really cheap to get all of them, but I had seen them yeah. on Instagram. They were Somebody else beautiful. was talking about downloads, and they're like, it's so inexpensive, but they're cute, and they're great. And so. uh, anyway, yeah. they're they're beautiful. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I was really happy to find find her and get that, so... We'll just, we'll just call it good. We'll just stop there. <laughs> and, of course, I only have a couple, so <laughs> it's not going to take me very long. Um, I, of course, the little mice, little stuffed mice that you make, and a lot of times they have something that they you can buy a pattern for them to sit on. Um, so I got this, and apparently this is a limited edition. Um, so you get the pattern for the mouse as well as the roll, I believe. Oh, cute. 
Um, so it just all rolls up and then the mouse sits on top of it and you can see they've put um, like a scissor holder. So those are scissors in the background. Neat. Very cute. Very cute. Um, and of course. Oh, you jumped on the I got, bandwagon. Because <laughs> these, well, these have cracked me up and I've been wanting them for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And I've just kind of been putting off and I'm like, I'm just going to get them. Mm -hmm. So we've got the cats one. So we got this one. Why are you surprised? Sitting in the box instead of their little bed. Always. <laughs> there. We are not amused. That's cute. So cats. And you may approach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I may stick them on, I mean, all of them are stitched on slightly different fabric, mm -hmm. but I may stitch them more as a bell pull type yeah. look and then just do it that way sure. instead of individual ones. Yeah. Um, and then while I was at Acorn, or not Acorn, uh, see, I do it all the time. Starlight Sister, I was looking around and I found this in their little stash of things they're trying to get rid of. But as you can see, you've got all kinds of very nature bird like things as well as the moose um i love loons mm. i'm probably good i mean i love the birch tree in this one too all of it's good the flowers in this um so i don't know i don't know which one i'm gonna do first i'm guessing the loons it's very pretty i just don't know for sure so yeah that's what i got nice. not, not a lot love it great stuff mm -hmm. all right now the fun part yeah. for all of you. Yeah. Our giveaway. Our giveaway. Yes. yes. So we had, as you, if you remember from three weeks ago, we had the Sunflower House pattern as our um, drawing that we're going to give out today. So we had quite a few people. We had 28 people who wanted this, which is no surprise because it's a newer pattern mm -hmm. and it's Plum Street and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So out of all those people, Marilyn, Marilyn R. R. Congratulations, Marilyn. Yay. Um, well, because it's not a um, really specific kind of name in that, you know, like some of them have, um, like we're pixie dust stitchers. Marilyn could be a lot of people. <laughs> so we will comment under your comments so you know that it's you. <laughs> and then contact us um, uh, either a private message on Instagram or email pixie dust stitchers at gmail.com yeah. and then you can give us your address and we'll get it out and um if you get it to us i've got a feeling by the time i get this uploaded and you respond it will probably be next week before it gets in the mail because i'll be gone for a few days so sure. it'll be a little bit harder timeline yeah, sorry be a little crunch. especially with that week so i yeah. know uh, people who were expecting to win we've kind of kept a consistent two weeks you know yeah but It'll so, get to you. It'll get to you. So our new one that we're going to give away for this week is these beauties. Little hummingbirds with the flowers, the two different kinds of flowers. Um, so, very pretty. If you like hummingbirds or flowers or you just think that they're pretty, I want to stitch the hummingbirds. You. Yep, I want to stitch the hummingbirds. Remember, don't say giveaway. Yep. Or we have to delete. Yeah. So that and I guess technically we're supposed to be saying you must be 18. You don't say giveaway. Don't yeah. say free. But yep, yeah, I'd like to stitch the hummingbirds. Yes. Um, it's a little bit older pattern, but we kind of mentioned we're going to go back and forth back between kind of newer ones and older ones. And this is so pretty and appropriate for right now, because yeah. summary, mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to matter. No. Nope. So, um, nice. so anyway, so there's what we have for you today. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. I and appreciate you guys. Hopefully we'll see you in two weeks yep. instead of three. Yep. So, all right. See you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.